to the first video for Ashbourne Pottery. My name is Cynthia. I am the owner and artist associated with Ashbourne Pottery. Um, I've been doing pottery for, um, seriously, this past year. I gotten back into it. I studied it in college, but that was 20 years ago. And I never went professional. It was just a hobby. Um, I was too scared to make it full time, make it my business, because you need to pay your mortgage, you need to pay rent, you know, life happens. So, um, worked a career for the past 20 years and um, found that I needed to come back to my passion, which is pottery. So, it's not full time for me. Um, I still have a day job, but I want to share with you the knowledge that I have because it's evolving still, even after having that college background. So um, I feel like I'm relearning some things and I just wanna share that with you. So part of that is I now have, you know, my day job income to buy a lot of toys and goodies that I couldn't afford when I first started um, the first go around. And I have since then rebuilt a whole new studio um, at my new house. So, um, new old house, I've been here for a couple years, but um, today I have the Giffen Grit. Now this is something that I, I kind of like, so when I studied in college, my professor and mentor, who was fantastic, taught a lot of really good skills, would be totally against something like this. Totally against a tool, just, you know, tap center, use wads of clay, and no bats were allowed, everything had to be um, skill building. And it definitely gives you a really good understanding of the clay and the body and how it works. But I find that um, I want something to make my life a little bit easier. <laughs> and um, this is hopefully going to do that. So, Let's get started. This just came in the mail. Um, uh, the Giffen Grip. Um, so we're going to unbox it and see what comes in the box. So it's taped really well. Couldn't find a knife, so I'm using a can opener. Can opener can open boxes. I like bad jokes. I like bad jokes a lot. So, don't get to know my humor here. Alrighty. So, in the box, what do we have? Well, looks like there's parts in these sections. Packaging has minimal waste. All right, so it's got a bottom here that spins. It looks like it's got adjustments here for the wheel heads. I only have one wheel, so. I have an envelope. In here, I'm guessing that's just sending back the bottom shape. And they have, oh look, a nice letter. That's really nice. Basically, thanking you for your purchase and letting you know that if there's anything missing, to contact them, they will make it right. Um, so they're making this really easy. I will say it's pretty straightforward. Got a registration with the letter to register your product and then instructions on putting it together. So different products you can get. All right, so their instructions actually look very easy. And they've included a roller 
at the top, which is good because I don't have a metric ruler of any kind. I know, behind the times with the rest of the world, imperial system is just in my head and I'm afraid I have never taken the effort to learn any other way. So let me go ahead and measure my wheel and then get the brackets out and go step by step with you. So we're gonna go over here and I'm gonna take you step by step, like I said. Let's measure my wheel head and metric. It is filthy, by the way. Um, I have a very, very messy wheel right now. And it looks like it is 35 and a half. 35 maybe? Just over 35 centimeters. We'll see if there's like a standard. Let's see if there's a standard somewhere. Let's go back over to here and the workspace. I know it's not. I know it's not perfect. My um, studio is my basement, so you get to see my home gym, my laundry, my storage. All here. Well, I should say my husband's gym, my husband's storage, my laundry, and his laundry. He does too. Alright. Box. Gone. Okay. So let's see what parts we have here. We've got some adjustments. pause on this internet because this bracket here, the square bracket is too, it fits in here just perfect sideways. So there's no way to turn it when it's in this trench. And the picture looks like it's supposed to go in the trench. So I'm going to have to ask the internet. Hold, please. Okay, we're back. Um, the instructional video on how to put it together from the manufacturer. Um, very easy to understand. <laughs> so I should have probably watched that first. Um, I watched it halfway through <laughs> because I was trying to figure things out on my own. All right, um, and I had to go get a screwdriver. All right, so get it started. Set to 35. All right, so attach bottom bracket with nuts and screws. Number four, get all three bottom brackets set so the pointer is on the same mark. Let's make sure they are all on. This one is not on the same mark as the others. This one is one mark down. So let me just loosen it up a little bit. Try it out.
If too loose, move back. It's too tight. Move. Or, yeah, move back and forth as you would see fit. Alright, let's go try it on the wheel head. I need to loosen it. Okay, let's loosen it all up one more notch. That noise you hear is my neighbor's air ratchet. He races his cars and you hear him out there all day. All right, I'm gonna test it and be back. All right, so that worked. Um, it just slides down right on the sides of the wheel head. And I think I can still use it without even removing my bat pins because they're still in there and it got pretty secure. So we'll just keep working. Okay, so try it out. Try it out. Now it fits correctly. Bottom plate will snap easily onto your potter's wheel and have no movement from side to side. That is correct. Um, hold top and bottom plates together with the O-ring. Use the shims if need be. All right, I don't think I need the shims. But put that back together. Let's put the o-ring back in place. Um, I'm wondering if I should cut this little doodad off. I don't need him to lift it one off. And I probably should have had all my tools together before I started, but it's realistic, right? You never put anything together with everything at hand. <laughs> All righty. I don't want to cut the O-ring. I just want to cut the plastic. All right, there we go. Push the O-ring down. Um. Rotates. Yay. I'm sorry, I'm trying not to like touch my face and ears. But it still happens. Alright, so flip it over. Holds together. It's not falling. Awesome. And now we have these it has basic sliders. But I know I'm not going to be using the basic sliders for what I want to trim today. I'm going to be using these guys. So if it was just basic sliders, I would have kept using lugs of clay and not spent over $250 on this. You can find it cheaper in other places, but I wanted it um, delivered quickly and not in a month, month and a half from now, is which a lot of websites have. Um, and I know things are abnormal right now with transportation being difficult. Um, it looks like I'm 
turn it into the basic sliders. Again, I'm not using the basic sliders, I'm using the other sliders with the little holes for the brackets because why not? And then push them in. says I should be able to kind of turn these. Now it's just go to the wheel. Okay. So let's get it on here. are going in and out as it turns. So this is going to be a lot of fun. to be trimmed. So these are going to be mugs. Let's see how this goes. Alrighty. So we got and these look like they're going to be perfect size. holding fast. Now, the tapping sounds different here than it normally would. And my trimmings are going everywhere. Well, it's cleaning the studio day, so it's a nice sunny day out. Just something to make note of. Trimmings go everywhere. So let's see if we can help kind of keep that from getting too crazy back there. All right. like that I can't um, really hear it as well. I can feel all the trimmings hitting my foot on that side.
that was easy. Get the part up. And I didn't do so bad on the, the bottom there. And um, I'm just going to keep going with this. Like, it held it nice and secure. And um, center super fast. And I'm quite pleased. Trimmings get everywhere, but the speed at which that um, holds it firm, I think I'm going to like this.